everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today. Um, today I'm going to give you part one of a two-part um, graphic design digital art tutorial about how to turn your photo into a digital painting. Um, so for part one, what I'm going to talk about today is one of the websites that I used to use before I started using Photoshop um, to turn my photos into paintings. Um, this is a really great option if you don't have a background in graphic design or in um, Adobe products. So um, as always, if you like the videos I'm putting out and you want to know more, please hit that like button, click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I drop new content. So the website we are using today is called twopix.com. Um, this is a free website. You don't have to pay to use it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the photo that we're going to be using, which is a photo I took down in New Jersey um, at the Jersey Shore. So once you upload the video, you can choose what size you see the photo at in your window. So. Um, Right now, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to bump up some of the color and the contrast. So we're going to raise the saturation. And I love that you have the ability to make these changes to the photo and it's non-destructive because you can always click undo and it'll go back to how it was. Um, so with Tukespix, you can add different frames. So if you don't necessarily want it to be a full painting, you can add in a frame uh, effect to it to look like brush strokes. Um, so if you don't necessarily want the entire photo to look like a painting, but you want to kind of give that painting or um, a painted or drawn aspect to it, you can do that. So um, this one is actually the crosshatch border that you can use. Um, we'll zoom back out and see the full image, but then you can click undo if you decide you don't want to do that. So the other effects that they have, um, you can recolor it, you can tone it, you can add um, effects. So this is where we would be selecting the photo to painting effect. And what's really nice with this is it's very simple control. So you choose the strength of which you want the painting to be at. So right now it's set at 50%. Um, and we're gonna go down and we're gonna change that to 100%. And that's a bit too much for me. So I'm actually going to scale it back. And what you can do is you can change between the different strengths to see which you like better. Um, so going down to 30, I like that, but I think I'm going to lower it a little more and maybe find a happy medium. And one of the things that's great with this website is that it also updates as soon as you make the change. So, um, Windows for when I chose the file and things like that weren't coming up. 
and for part two of this video, I'm actually going to show you how to do what we did with this website in Photoshop. And for that, I definitely want you to be able to see the windows so you can see on the filters, the things that I changed. So please stay tuned for part two of that video. Um, I know next week is Christmas. I am going to try and have an unboxing video for you guys.